much better fireball than uh Kenny. Oh yeah, that's true, that's true. But now that she actually has things like he can kill with outside of like uh, you know, show you can like that new top two stuff and like being able to do stuff out of down smash and things like that in aerials. It's pretty cool. But uh you got Neko Katsu from Chile and going up against Charlie the King. Our our Soul Cow King. For real though, Charlie's been putting in work these days. Definitely putting in work. Uh at Genesis. Um, highest placing SoCal player, highest placing unranked like PGR player. Got ninth place time with Nairo and Tweak. This says a lot. But yeah. this is interesting too because Charlie did really well against Masters Game and Watch, and he feels like he knows his matchup really well. So I really want to see how he's gonna. <laughs> yeah, look, he didn't even get touched. I couldn't even. Like, it, this game pretty much said everything for himself. He got multiple parries. Exactly. He knows what Game and Watch was to get started with. He knows how to punish rolls really well. Great combo game. I feel like Charlie, if he just doesn't get tilted and like run into like the up smash base like this, he does really well in the match. Yeah, I, I definitely can see that right now. And this is the best two out of three as well. So. Yeah, I want to see, see if uh, Negrokaz is going to adapt real quick. It's starting out really strong for Charlie. Honestly, how do you feel about this matchup? I actually feel Wolf does really well because he has good enough hitboxes to contest how Game & Watch wants to bait things out with these smash attacks. Like, great parry on that. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. But, uh, crazy. yeah, I feel like anyone that has a decent disjoint can deal with Game Watch just matching that uh, up smash and neutral really well. And um, he can kind of space around like baiting up B out of shield too if he doesn't like hold his aerial two in on the shield as well. He also kills Game Watch really early. So those are the things he has going for him. But once Game Watch gets started on Wolf, Wolf can you know suffer a lot because his disadvantage isn't so great. Oh, true, yeah. true, true. Yeah, I think Wolf does Combo Wolf pretty, pretty hard. Yeah. We'll see. Ooh, nice, Ooh. nice photo. Um, you can just go ahead and like nair or like fair that that mm -hmm. pair. Yeah, before it goes on the uh, hits the ground, you can just hit it before it negate the hitbox pretty much. But a lot of people, he has so many weird hitboxes that you're just trying to react to something and <laughs> you get hit by the foreigner. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's just scary. Like once you come out, you just want to shield it, and then you realize, dang, I should not have shielded it. Just, wow. Yeah. Yeah. He had, had to have held out there a little bit, but Game Watch is so light that might just kill it anyway. The nair to the football kick's gonna do it. It, Wolf has so many hiccup things. Probably makes him like one of the better characters, more satisfying characters to play. Saw that shine coming in. Yeah, he has a lot of really sick uh, fastball, fair, like back air, uh, like go for like Wolf Flash if he gets the right hit of the back air too. Oh yeah. You can do like down throw to side B, correct? Yeah, you can. I think it's around 50 percent, and it depends on the eye. Yeah, and everyone's gonna show you the many ways Wolf can get. Wolf flash confirms. It's Charlie. He goes for it more than any other wolf I know. Nice. Missed the tech on fourth throw, so he gets like a dash up F tilt. Oh, told you. And yeah, <laughs> just exactly. He got the fade back in there too. Fade back uh, light in there is easier to combo than the wolf flag. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Fade back in there is good because it's like another long lasting hitbox you can use to cover, uh, like if they want to roll in, you just like drift back on your nair when they do a roll, hit them while they're rolling, and you can just combo off of yeah. Wolf's mad good. <laughs> Wolf, is, Wolf is actually crazy. I actually was looking at him on the character select screen for a little I feel bit. like you would have a decent Wolf. Um, if you like the character enough. I actually do like him. I tried him out a few, um, few times, and I, I like him, but, you know, I like, Terrible character. Uh, <laughs> no, Rob is Galway. Except, except Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi. Game two. Smashville coming out from Nekakatsu. Yeah. Oh, the, this is already a big start for Charlie, man. Uh, once he gets these, like, super big combos on Game & Watch, he dies so early that it doesn't take much for him to secure the first stock. I think that's just been Katsu's main problem. Like, as soon as the starts. But this is good stuff. He needs his edge guard right here. A little bit too slow, but nice up smash. Nice, nice block up smash, definitely. Yeah, I would love to see him, like, once he has Charlie on that center platform, just keep pressing him with the aerials. You know, because Game Watch has that up air, that nair. Really good stuff he could do. Nice delay, he doesn't want to give him the free punish yeah. with the wolf flash into the down smash. Right? Yeah, definitely a little bit too early with that down smash. Oh, here's a bacon up the ledge. Oh, man, he committed too early with the dash attack. He thought he would neutral get up faster. I actually thought that would work too. Oh. Wow, Charlie trying to be fancy. Firewolf is really good. And it's like a surprising move to do when you're in disadvantage because a lot of people just don't expect you to do it. And it can just fight out, just kill. So. I feel like um, 
Charlie's definitely jumping a lot. I feel like uh, Neko needs to catch him on that, mm -hmm. um, especially especially when he's trying to commit to like a forward air yep. or something like that. Definitely need to catch that. Yeah, it's, it could be a little bit risky just because the way Charlie spaces like he spaces away with the aerials a lot, so you have to drift in on him to like you know hit your aerials. You know what I mean? Maybe you're oh, supposed yeah. to play away from. Him. Yeah, yeah commit, from commit a little bit more. Yeah. But you should, because when he hits these, he gets so much uh, reward, you know? Exactly. Oh, okay. well. Uh, nice. Oh, yeah, Charlie. Oh, wow. he still hit it. Didn't die, but even when Charlie tried to lay the wolf, the fire wolf, still got the down smash. It's sad to say I'm surprised that it didn't kill. <laughs> yeah, it was like a slight charge, too. Dang, yeah. get up attack beat sports, man. This is kind of nuts. Okay. Nice. Nice. Nice covering nice. of the edge. I have so strong and last decent amount of time, but there's the classic. You run up to them with invincibility. That's smash the other way because you're going to roll because they're scared of you. <laughs> That's like the least smash special right there. That works on almost everyone. But uh, good stuff. Nego Katsu doing a good job making this much closer than the first game. Potentially, you know, bring us to 1-1. Potentially, definitely. But now over it's over. But Neko yeah. says, I want this to be over. Sorry. Does he catch the roll in here? Yeah, he's throwing those snap attacks too. It's, he should have thrown them out a lot because uh, they can bait up Charlie to approach unsafely. Like, try and punch that smash attack, and then he can get a punch off of that. Like, a upbeat shield, but a smash. Nice. Wow. Grab. Yeah, you can hit the grab. Yeah, you can get grab after that hits if you're fast enough. They did a decent amount of percent too. All right, they got to play. Got to play a neutral well right here. Back in. Oh, watch. Oh, my. Oh. He's, he actually neutral good up with that. That's crazy. Really? Yeah. If he was just off a little bit, he would have died for sure. Well, I'm pretty sure he would have died. Charlie at low percents, like I was saying before, he just literally has his confidence. He just does not care sometimes. Oh, it crossed up the narrow shield. That was a safe up smash as well. Yep, great bacon. Again, he's stalling to Ooh, make sure he yeah. doesn't get by the smash attack. Oh, but the falling there. And, and he pops off yo. a little bit, saying something in... Oh, that was him popping off? Yeah, he oh, popped dang. off. Yeah, I heard the Spanish come Yeah, up. the Spanish... <laughs> hey, that, that was worthy of a pop-off, man. Charlie looked like he had a super down in game one. It was crazy, because at the ledge, at that last point in time, he literally was he was going crazy. He was yeah. throwing out so many different moves. Yeah. Uh, I guess and it was somehow, good that one of them actually hit. Yeah, and somehow Charlie, like, neutral get up through down smash, like, two times. I know. I don't even know how he got through that. But, yeah, falling down air is a really good, uh, like, burst option when you're in disadvantage of game watch. And, like, it's something you always have to respect. I feel like when you're greedy for the kill, like, it's last hit, you want to just jump up there and try to, like, hit him before he lands on top of you. But then yeah, he just throws out that down air. It's really strong. I actually love to see him because I, I know Maestro a lot. Like, he will get you off stage and he will just down there. Like, if you're like Wolf has a kind of bad recovery, I, I would love to see him just do like a, not even like a down there to spike, just hit him off the side, you know? Oh, okay. I see. Game watch down there. That's just uh, some things I think Necrocasa could do to like apply a little bit more off stage pressure versus Wolf as Game of Watch. But yeah, this is game three. Last hit, or not last hit, but last game of the set. Charlie could be uh, sent to lose back kind of early for him. He's been winning a few tournaments. Well, I think he won hat yesterday over uh, Sharpie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Nice. He's getting those upbeats out of shield now. That's when, when the game watch starts hitting you with those, that's when you feel a little bit uh, unsteady because now you're like. Pressure on shield isn't that safe. There's a down air Damn. coming out now. Great tech from Charlie to stay out a little bit longer, but yeah. Definitely a great tech by him. Yeah, Neko starting to apply that pressure. Looking real good. Oh, look at the dash. <laughs> you never know. When the game starts dash in neutral, I'm like, that weird dash animation should not be scaring me, but it's scary. But, but it's, yeah, because <laughs> you know any sort of move by him, it, it just kills, man. Oh, shield poke like, in the back here. Yeah, it looks like he dropped shield for a second to maybe maybe up smash. Yeah. Oh, man, this is so close. First time means so much, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Look at the bacon. Charlie's going to use a platform to avoid that. But, yeah, he's trying to play very safe. Ooh, nice, nice grab. Yeah, he caught the landing. See, Charlie is a little bit scared on these platforms. I think Charlie was expecting, like, a dash deck right there. 
Oh my god. Uh oh. Game Watch is literally paper. He'll die from everything, but so will Wolf. Oh my goodness. They both have so many safe moves to oh. throw, but. Wow. Yeah, Nickel nice. Cosmo swings first. And Charlie big. immediately whip punches it. They both have a dash that can kill in that situation, too. It's just a matter of who swung first. Oh my oh god, wow, dash attack going really through the that. forward air, and Charlie's gonna get a big hit confirmed. Juicy percent, 44 already from that. All Neko needs is just one solid read. Oh yeah, Charlie's playing but around the forward airs as well. I think Charlie at this point, like, I can die from so many things, I won't play safe as possible as much percent as I can, but there's the back air finally. Still think 44 is decent percentage for Charlie, because now I think, oh. Okay, no, he got out of the near pressure. But yeah, no, no, I think he's going to try to hold his percent lead as much as possible. Not really force the combo unless it's, uh, you know, safe to go for it. You know? Yeah, it looks like he's being a little bit more scarce on his, like, uh, oh, wow. Never mind. Yeah, I saw the wolf flash come out. I mean, it can probably kill him a lot really early, but okay. He can definitely kill now. Ooh. That. Ooh, he's really going for it. Yeah, yeah. I do like that confidence. Probably trying to get started, but unsafe. Dash attack on shield, immediate up Definitely. smash. That move scoops behind, catches low, catches high. This is uh, one of his better, safer out of shield punches when you look like he moves on him. You know? And he can kill Game Watch Matter, as you can see. So, wants to talk away. See if Neko can make some things happen here. Charlie, though, looks really dialed in on this matchup right now. Now it gets getting baited to just swing on safely on the smash attacks. He's playing at a really good range to deal with most of Game Watch's things, you know? Oh yeah, definitely that, that mid that mid-range game is working really well for him. There's the chef. I'm about to live a little bit longer. Ooh, oh no way! Baited. Wanted to get past all the projectiles, jumped a little bit too close to that helmet. And there's a big up smash coming out from Nekokatsu. He can get a good spring with Game & Watch, but Charlie knows that as well, so he's not making it easy for him to get a combo. <laughs> up throw, interesting. Might want to give DI mix up with the up throw, like DI in on the up throw and get like a back air. Sweet spot back air would, will probably kill this percent right now. Nice, oh. back throw. No, no I, he's going to go high yeah. to avoid getting back air for free off stage. Yeah. That would have been really bad. There, nice. Oh. A B? No, he wants to be up there. Oh man. I thought you could have oh. more of that, but it's alright. 40, we'll take it at this position. Up yeah. on shield again. Yeah, yeah dude. I um, feel like a couple things in that match is just like too many empty like uh, dash attacks yeah. into the into the shield. Yeah. Definitely should have went for a lot more grabs, especially when you're at that high percent. You, you, you don't want to do something like that risky, yeah. especially in neutral, just kind of throwing it out there. I know that, I know Game Watch can throw out a lot of moves. Yeah, yeah. But, but Charlie's, not one of Charlie's dialed in on the moves that are actually punishable from Game & Watch that are like unsafe. So he has that punish like scouted out. And this is the way that he spaces, like in mid-range, it gives him enough time to react to slow moves in general. So you don't want to just do something that's easy to punish like that. Yeah. yeah. It's rough. But that was good from Nekokatsu. Good rep, good showing. It's cool that the Chile uh, Smashers come out so often to our events. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Um, usually the bigger events.